everybody. It's Deb from d, &D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch uh, gallery wrapped canvas and I'm going to do a Dutch pour. I have down a, a layer of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and I did mix that with uh, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt a gack 800 and a teaspoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium. I did thin it with water. Let's go over my paints. I am going to be using the Golden Iridescent Silver Fine. I'm going to be using Golden Turquoise Phalo. Very pretty color. I'm going to be using Color Shift uh, Blue Flash. Color Shift Blue Flash. Golden Interference Violet Fine. And the rest of my colors are the um, Color Art Primary Elements. And the first one is Teal Zircon. And the next one is Yellow Rose. First time I'm using this pretty yellow color. And my next pigment is Ginger Peach. I have used that one before. Really like the Ginger Peach. And the last one is Primary Elements Jasmine. Now these color um, art primary elements and those few paints that I just mentioned I had a different pouring medium for that, and it's one tablespoon of the Vivid Enamel, uh, one tablespoon of triple thick polyurethane, and I will show you that. It's in this can. And then I added about one little scoop of the primary elements or about a teaspoon of the paint. And I did thin those paints also because I'm doing a Dutch pour and I thinned it with the Josana Gloss Varnish. So that's that product right there. So let's get started um, putting down the paints. And if you've watched my other videos before, you know that a Dutch pour is the most difficult for me and I'm giving myself a challenge here today and I did thin these paints down quite a bit because um, I wanted them to be able to uh, spread out when I use my blow dryer I did not use any silicone today. I haven't been using silicone really lately at all. Kind of gotten away from using silicone. Sometimes it is nice though to get some cells. So if I get cells today, it probably would just be from the Floetrol in the base paint, I'd imagine. We'll just have to see what we get. Got some really, really pretty colors here today. Just making sure I put enough of this paint down. Here's the interference color. Interference Violet. Okay. Here's our pink. Jasmine, I believe it was called. And these primary elements are, the quality is just wonderful on these. 
One thing you can tell the quality of paints I've found, when this paint is all dry, when this painting is all dry, I can flip the canvas over and I'll actually see the colors that came through the canvas because it, it, the color is so concentrated. Here's our ginger peach. And our yellow. Okay, I think I will put just a little bit more of my blue in. Okay, and now with my extra white paint, I am just going to lay a line of it on each side of my paints here so I can use my blow dryer and blow, blow the white over the top. Okay, I'm going to start on low and see if that'll do the job. If not, I'll go to high. And you want your setting on cool. some cells there. Okay, and now I'm going to turn it to high and blow out my paint. And I'm going to try it back on low. See if that'll work. I feel like I have more control with it on low. I'm just going to take a look at it here and I'm just going to do a little bit more blowing here. I see something I want to blow out a little more. Give it a torch. And I planned on having a lot of uh, negative space here today. Okay, and now instead of my blow dryer, I'm going to use my air compressor. 
just to blow it out here some more. You'll see that I use my air compressor on the side. I, ha I feel like I have more control with it on the side. Instead of going straight down. And I am one that I really like the wispy look at the edge of my paint with the Dutch pours. I know some people do not like that, but, but I do. Try and bring up some more of this paint here. And this is probably the point of the video. If you feel like you want to fast forward, that's fine. There's just many layers of beautiful colors here that I'm going to try and bring up. Okay, I'm going to turn this around now. And I'm going to work on the opposite side just a little bit. Hopefully you can see how I'm pushing this paint out, just distributing it, distributing it a little differently here.
Okay, and now I'm just going to take a look at it here, composition-wise. I really think the colors are beautiful on it. But I think what I want to do is just take a stick and I want to make my petals a little more distinct. So what I'm going to do is just go in here and pull some of this paint off. And I'm going to replace it with some white. And I want to check and see if there's another spot I would like to do that. Maybe just a little in here. I hope at home you're not saying, oh, no, no, don't do that. Because <laughs> I, I think it will look nicer when I'm finished here. Okay, let's start with that. And what I'm going to actually do is turn the painting around again so I can blow dry out on that. And hopefully you can see it again. Okay, I like that better. And I want to see if there's something on this side I would like to. Maybe just right in this area, this small area right here. Take a little out. Always play with your painting until you're really satisfied with the outcome. And 
maybe right in here I'll take a little bit out too. Replace it with some white now. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over again and just finish those two sections. Okay, I like that a lot better. And I'm gonna torch one more time, then I'll get you down for a close-up. Close up. This is the upper left hand corner. And off camera, I worked a little bit more on some of the areas. And I'm not sure if the camera's picking up all the really shiny areas or not, but it's very, very pretty. And here, very beautiful. All those colors. Even got some lacing in there. Very pretty. And this is the lower left hand corner. And I'll take you up the middle here. I did work on this area a little bit more. Just took some paint off and added some uh, white paint to it and blew it out a little more. And this is the top in the middle. We'll go over to the right-hand side now. Right-hand corner, right-hand upper corner there. And again, here's a real pretty area with a lot of colors. Really pretty. Just coming down the right-hand side here now. And I did work in this area a little more, added some more white paint, blew it out a little more till I was happy with it. Here's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Ring the bell, choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would be great and it would really help me out. And until next time, take care everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.